In this video, we're going to be showing how to change the drive shaft cup, universal pin, whichever you want to call it, on a Viterra Ascender. Watch along. I've got it all ready, broke down, so it'll come apart really quick. So, here it is. The problem we're having, <coughs> pin snap. Out of the coupler okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your screws out of your axle couplings here these are the, actually the only there's two screws on each side they're the only four screws holding your tires in i've already removed these screws so i'll show you what happens pull these out your whole tire comes off this is the easiest quickest way to do it guys on a trail or something you don't need to take your tire off okay Pull your tires off, all right? Axles out with them, the whole bit. Next, you're gonna remove your differential pan. I've already moved the four screws that hold it on. I'll show you what it looks like. Pull that off. Inside, you're gonna see your fully locked differential gear. Once your axles are out, you will now be able to pull that gear right out. Once you got something you can grab a hold of it with, just go ahead and pull it out. Try not to get anything dirty. Right now I'm just going to set it on the tire because I didn't really think this through too good. Alright, next you're going to see right inside there I've already got the screw out, but there's going to be a screw right in the center of this pinion gear here, or gear that you... You know, there's gonna be one right there. You gotta take that out, then that will pull out, okay? But also, at the same time, you're gonna push on it. It's kinda hard to do holding the phone. Take my word for it, you're gonna push it. It's gonna come out, the, uh, the bearing and the cup is gonna come out this end. Here, watch, I'll push it. Yeah, there we go, popped out of there. There it is, okay? So there's the actual cup that I'm looking for. Sorry for the quality of this video, I really suck at filming. Okay, and there is the gear that popped out on the back laying there. Can you see that? Alright, there, it just fell on the floor. Okay, right here. Remember how everything goes back together? If you don't remember, you can comment and ask me and I will try to remember to let you know. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to pull your drive shaft apart. Okay, next you're going to take your cup and you need your bearing off. Your bearing is actually what holds your pin in. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It's going to be hard to do with two hands, but you're going to take a socket or something that's the same diameter as your bearing. It's important to try to get the inner diameter, the inner race of the bearing, not the outer, or else it could pull the bearing apart. So you're going to stand that up. You're going to put your socket on there. Then you're going to tap it down, which I cannot do. Just like this. There, bearing is off, okay? You see those holes there? That's where your pin is going to go through. So, when you get your drive shaft off of there, man, these are, need to be greased. See that? Go on there, you get a pin, put through there. I think I have another cup. What happens is these wear out. See the holes? They just wear out over time. You see that? How it's egg shaped? You probably can't really tell, but that's what happens. Then they just wear out. The pins get sloppy, they fall out, break, whichever. We got our new drive shaft end here, guys. This is a different end. This is the one that was in it. And make sure you grease these up good when you put them in. Bang, coupler back on. I kind of put the coupler on and the pin through off camera it's way too hard just to try to hold even without holding a camera or in front of a camera if you ever done it you know what I mean and if you haven't when you go to do it you'll know what I mean <laughs> a 
Okay, so for putting it back in, if you undo your one shock mount, it'll give you room to lift your axle enough. So once you get your axle into the diff, attach your upper shock mount. You're going to put your gear back on. Put the screw in, and pretty much everything in reverse of what I've told you. Alright, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Um, hope this helps somebody out out there. Thank you, bye. When you're putting your axles back in, you gotta make sure you kinda spin them and get them to lock in. You see it won't push in all the way, because it's not spun right. The axles gotta actually fit in the differential housing, into the gear, so...